talk about the challenges. You only have 42 minutes to tell this story, right? But you were able to get into the details of each game. Like when you brought up Timo, I was like, oh, I forgot that they didn't run. I forgot all of those moments. Did you have to jar their memories of any of the, the people that you were interviewing? Or did you just let that let them come, let them remember it and, and go from there? Yeah, when you're doing these interviews, you kind of walk them through, you give these long questions and you kind of go, you know, in the fourth, this happened, the fifth and that kind of, and, and occasionally sometimes they'll be like, wait, what happened again? And, and so forth. But that, I think that's a skill in terms of, of, of interviewing. And that's something that I've had to learn. I think I could always do better at in terms of how you interview someone. Because again, remember when, when you're interviewing them, you, you know, ideally your, your, your audio is not going to be, you know, on camera or, you know, as part of it, that's become a tool that's a little more in vogue right now, which is great because you can feel flexibility and it kind of, break that fourth wall a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you would, you would, you would walk them through, but these guys are pro athletes. It's like a golfer. You ask them about, you know, a pro golfer, you ask about a hole in a, in a major eight years earlier and they take you through it, you know, inch by inch. And they do the same thing like David Cohn and Mike Piazza and then at bat in game four, kind of pivot about the one uh, pitcher, one, the one, the one at bat that, 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 uh, that, that Cohn um, had uh, that he faced, you know, he pitched the third yeah. inning in the entire world series. And um, it was the Piazza and he got him out. And, you know, they both remember that, you know, pitch for pitch and word for word. So, you know, that was a good thing. And, and they knew what they were coming in to talk about. Right. So um, they, they were pretty prepared. Um, and even Joe Torrey, who is 80, 80 years old and still throwing fastballs, you know, in terms of mentally uh, was uh, was great. I mean, he remembered everything. I thought he was phenomenal. The reason why I asked that question, because we've done it different ways. I've done it where I've given them video and had them watch it and, and try to go through that. And I was curious if you did any of those triggers or not. But I'll go to Joe Torrey. When he said to be loyal to 25 instead of one, I thought that was a great line. And I totally forgot him bringing in Cone for Nagel. So it was just like, damn, Joe Torrey was, he was on it. He remembered it like it was yesterday. And you really got to be disciplined when you get back, get back to your question, AJ, about the, like the 42 minutes. It's like, you know, that will go by so fast um, when you're, tell, you know, and, and so for me, it was kind of each game can have one thing in it, you know, and, and hopefully you, we, you know, we had the characters we had, Derek Jeter, we did an interview, Mariano Rivera, we did an interview, but you can, and, and they had their moments in the series for sure, but it was like, you're interviewing David Cohn and then he kind of has his arc you know, and the, the, the crest in game four. And Al Leiter, he, he appears in game one and game five, but he's such a great character in the film. And then you feel him experience, you know, as he's looking back at himself 20 years earlier. Um, Zeal has his moment with Timo Perez. So everybody kind of had their, their little moment. Um, and certainly, obviously, Clemens and Piazza. So um, it's kind of, to me, it's like, eliminate all the other stuff and just go big where you're going to go big and then, you know, get moment to moment to moment, I think is, is the best way to go.